Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I am going to show you a little mini haul of some of the items that I have received from the Japanese Sailor Moon fan club, which is called Pretty Guardians. There is a website down below where you can visit the Pretty Guardians website, and if you log in with a Japanese fan club membership, you get access to a bunch of goods, and if you have a Japanese address, you can get access to a bunch of little things that they send along with your fan club membership. So today I'm going to show you the renewal gift that Japanese fan club members have already started to receive, as well as a couple of the other little items that I've gotten in the mail at my Japanese address uh, from the fan club itself. So I'm going to save the renewal membership gift till the end, and then first I'm going to walk through all of what these little papers are. So some of these papers are just simple announcements that they've made to the Pretty Guardians fan club. I'm gonna just skip over those and then I'll show you some of the fancier items. Now one of the cool things that Japanese members get of the from the fan club is the official fan club members only special issue. And they do these volumes, these special issue magazines. Each of them is themed in some different way. And then inside you'll find out a whole bunch of information about Sailor Moon, the fan club, and sometimes there's interviews in here too. Now while I don't have my phone handy on me right now to be able to translate this, what I can tell is it looks like it has information about previous membership cards maybe and these are all from the early 90s 91 2 3 4 and then 92 through 96 it looks like you got a special membership card oh that looks like a telephone card actually now in the center on this specific volume we have information about sailor moon the super live which is a musical that's currently going on with sailor moon this specific musical is going to be coming to the united states which is very exciting and i'm really hoping that i can go to it next year we also have some information on here about the usagi birthday party which happened uh previously in 2018 on june 30th and this was a big birthday party for Usagi that happened in Japan where they had announcements, they had music, they had special guests. It's very cute and I'm really sad that I wasn't able to go to it. On the other page we have information about Anime Expo 2018 which is the, I think this is in LA? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, but this is the American uh, special anime event which I've never been to but it sounds amazing. Yeah, so that's the little volume membership special issue guide. I also got volume six of the special issue guide, and this is for the 2016-2017 members only special issue. Uh, so this one includes information from Anime Matsuri, which everyone knows you shouldn't go to if you want to support women's rights and anti-harassment. So I'm just going to skip that anime Matsuri part. And then we have information on USJ. So this is Universal Studios Japan, which is located in Osaka. And I really want to go because next year they are doing the same thing. They're doing another Sailor Moon event at USJ. Uh, but this features a whole bunch of information on the event and what the performance was like. Then at the very end, we have some Sailor Moon news that happened previously uh, in 2018. So there was, it looks like a merchandise event. And then there was a musical, looks like, oh, the classic concert. And then we have an advertisement for the coins. And I did get this coin. So I will be showing that in a different video if I haven't already. Last for the papers, we have one more thing in an envelope. I don't know what this one is. Oh, that totally makes sense actually. So this very last one is the Sailor Moon official fan club Pretty Guardians membership card. So each member gets a membership card and this is what it looks like this year. So it features all 10 of the Sailor Senshi in manga versions of themselves. And it comes on this nice card stock too. So you can display it or you can take it out if you want to. Now, a lot of times at the Sailor Moon store in Japan, they'll have special things that are happening just for fan club members so it's a good idea to keep one of these in your wallet just in case you go there all right so last thing for today is the sailor moon bracelet that was for the 2018 fan club members this comes in a really cute little pink box the box is cardboard so it's nothing fancy the bracelet itself is displayed on this little piece of cardstock Okay, so this is the bracelet. It's based on the communication bracelet that they use in uh, Sailor Moon. And if I open this, it's actually a working watch. Isn't that cool? 
So I can close it and it just kind of snaps shut, which is nice. And it does have a little twisty knob on the side so I can change the time, which is also wonderful because it's probably set to like, I don't know, a Japan time or something. This is a very pretty quality item. It's cute. On the back of it, it says Pretty Guardians and it has the Sailor Fan Club uh, logo on it as well. I feel like there's plastic, but there's not plastic on the back of it. It has little fake pearls along the edges of it for the wrist strap. And then the clasp has a little crescent moon on it. So this is so pretty. I'm really glad that I decided to renew my membership because this was totally worth it. The memberships for the fan club either in Japan or internationally are around 50 bucks or so. And then you get access to like limited edition items and you also get the bracelet or whatever the renewal item might be. Um, I know the international version, I usually receive that one. For the past two years, I've received it in December. So if you haven't already seen me receive that yet, then you'll probably see me open it on Instagram. Because I did end up getting a international version of the membership as well as the Japanese one, because at the time I didn't know how to get the Japanese edition of the fan club membership. But I figured it out, so now I have two memberships. <laughs> on another video, I'll give you some pros and cons about each of the memberships since I've now gotten to experience both of them. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of video and if you want to see more about the fan club or how to sign up for it yourself if you haven't already. All right that about wraps it up so my name is Sailor Snubs thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time. Janae.